So today I'm bringing you something a little bit different. This is my first ever vlog. I'm going to be talking you through my current grooming regime along with a few products I'm loving at the moment from Hawkins and Brimble. So Hawkins and Brimble are a men's grooming brand based in London. Um, today I'm going to be talking you through their range of barber grade tonics, which basically means they are the type of products you would find in those old school barbers that are really on trend. They're popping up all over London at the moment. I go to one myself. I think they're a great place to go um, because you get to sort of have a beer, you relax, it's a bit of a social setting. Um, so I think it's amazing that people are actually creating products like this that you can take home and sort of do those little tidying up bits at home. Bearded men have to shave too. These products will work for both bearded men who just have to shave the top and your neckline and even better for people who, if you, if you go fully clean shaven. So first up in this set is the pre-shave scrub. Now. Pre-shave scrubs are really important. Um, basically what they do is exfoliate the top of your cheeks and underneath your neck or your whole face. Um, the whole point of using a pre-shave scrub is to get rid of the dirt and any dead skin. Now this will make your razor glide much more smoothly. Um, it will also stop you from getting those little embarrassing cuts because there'll be nothing left to sort of the razor to catch on. Second up is the shaving cream. Now this is one of my favorite parts of the set. Hawkins and Brimble have given us sort of a really traditional shaving cream that comes in a pot. Um, and they've also given us this lovely little brush. Um, I, I like the fact they've given us that application because it's the same as a traditional barber would use. Um, so it's really mess free, really easy. You don't get it all over your hands. You can apply it much more accurately and it gives you a really even smooth coverage, which is important for when you finally start shaving. Now third up, now we finish finished shaving, everything's nice and tidy. Um, we now use the post-shave balm. Um, now, post shave balms, I would always use them over an aftershave. The reason being is they are so much kinder to your skin. Um, they won't burn, they won't dry you out. The whole point of them is to moisturize, it's to close your pores, and it's to stop that horrible red inflammation. I know that I used to get this a lot on my neck. Using things like this really do help, and it really makes a big difference. Fourth step in the process is my favorite. Now, Hawkins and Brimble use Elamine Ginseng throughout their range now and also in their beard oil. So using a good beard oil along with this whole range is almost like using a good cologne. Everything smells the same and when you've finished, you've moisturized your neck, you've moisturized your cheeks and now you're shaping your beard with an oil that all smells the same. And it's almost like you, you could still use an aftershave but I would almost recommend just using this stuff. It's much kinder to your skin, it won't stain any of your shirt and I think using a good beard oil is probably the most important part of the process. So the best way to do this is just to pipette a little bit of onto your hands, rub it in, really massage it into the follicles of your hair. It works a little bit like good shampoo, so it will stop you from kind of your, how your scalp gets dandruff, you can get the same thing on your beard, and it will stop your beard from itching, you can tame any stray hairs, keep it all looking nice and sharp, and shape it into your desired shape. So Hawkins and Brimble have also sent me some hair products, the first of which is a matte clay. Now matte clay is the best used on, I'd say, dry hair. Um, so I've actually used it on my hair today. Um, it's really good for creating kind of a soft look. It won't look heavy, it, it'll last all day. You know, you can give it a little bit of a tidy up and your hair won't go everywhere. It keeps everything from sticking together. It's got this lovely um, kind of fiber texture to it which is really easy to work into your hair. And the final product I'm gonna show you today is the water pomade. Now, I used to use water pomades on my hair when it was a little bit longer. Um, I love the style of using these. Um, I actually had my beard quite a bit bigger. Um, and basically, I would use a water pomade with damp hair, so if you've got sort of long hair that you like to slick back, this is probably one of the best products to use to do that with. Better than using the wax, because waxes, they, they get quite sticky in your hair. Um, I used to use Dax quite a lot, but what I found is that your hair would start sort of matting together if it was windy. Water pomades are much kinder, they, they keep your hair much sleeker and they still give you that lovely old school slicks back look. So I hope you've enjoyed my first ever vlog, I'm a really big advocate for this sort of thing. Do tell me if you have any suggestions of your own because I would love to hear them. I use these products every day so it's really useful for me too. Um, let me know what you think in the comments and stay tuned for more.